Well, well, well. What do you have here? A lost soul. And here I thought I could take the day off. Ah, just my luck. Hmm? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Shouldn't you be asking where you are? You've just realized. <laughs> the slowest one I've had in a while. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm afraid that your appearance here means that you're... What's a nice way humans phrase it again? Ah, yes. No longer amongst the living. Disease departed. You get the point. <laughs> that expression never gets old. I swear. Humans get more and more naive with each passing generation. They'll believe anything nowadays. Relax. I was merely joking. You're still very much alive. <laughs> well, duh. You're in this spirit realm, dummy. It's only natural for you to fill your body. And for your information, Everyone here is blue and translucent, including rare guests as yourself. <sighs> there it is again. Why does every single outsider make such a big deal at the mention of spirits? We're not ghosts. Does it matter if a body accompanies the mind? <sighs> For the last time, this is the spirit realm, not the, oh no, you did something stupid and now you're dead, realm. A little color change and human lose their little heads over it. <sighs> so dramatic. <sighs> I believe your kind better understands it as the dream world. <laughs> that won't work. Pinching yourself won't wake you up from a dream. You could very easily imagine the pain wake up inside your dream. Not to mention, this isn't your typical everyday dream either. No, you were pulled in too deep. Waking up at will shouldn't be possible. Why you here and how to leave? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I like to say that it's because you're some kind of chosen or prophesied to defeat a great evil, or that this is your punishment for past evil deeds. <laughs> it's nothing of that sort. You're here, do you? Of a combination of sleep deprivation and horrific sleep posture. Apparently horrific enough that your spirit separated from your body, and so now you have the pleasure of meeting me. Ah, <laughs> pretty lame if you ask me, but it doesn't matter how you got here. Just need to know that I am here to escort you back to the waking realms. Well then, chop chop, follow along. The quicker we get this over with, the sooner we can both get along with our day. <laughs> Not coming along? Well, would you look at that. Maybe you do have some self-preservation in you after all. Unfortunately, I think following a complete stranger around an alien dimension is your only choice. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know survive the next hour. Actually, an hour would be too generous. Ten minutes at max sounds more like it. <laughs> if I left you to your own device, I'm sure the hounds wouldn't mind a feast. That is, if the sky snatchers don't get to you first. <laughs> Did you think the spirit world was going to be all fun and games? No, 
For a stray human, it's rather dangerous, although I don't think you'll necessarily die. Probably deep coma. Severe memory loss or something. I don't really know the details since I am so damn efficient at my job. Hmm. I wonder what would happen. Maybe I'll just watch from afar and... Uh, did you figure it out yourself? Everything has been so boring lately, so why the hell not? Watching something... Someone scramble for their dear life would serve as quite the quality entertainment. Ah, <sighs> but then Bua would give me the scolding of a lifetime. Yeah, never mind. I'm getting sidetracked, so what's it gonna be? A quick and painless trip home or a life demonstration of natural selection? <laughs> That's what I thought I'd hear. In that case, call me the Balladeer. No, not, not Balladeer. It's the Balladeer. You forgot the the in front. <laughs> Think that's a little unnecessary? Well, is your kind and benevolent savior addressing me properly is actually the least... You could do to show a little gratitude. Besides, I'm a uh, pretty significant individual here. If I do so say myself. I wasn't even asking you to bow or grovel, so I think I'm actually rather humble. So it's the ballady from now on. Got it? Good. Then we best get along and get going. I don't know about you, but I'm a very busy demon who has places to be. Come on, get going. You want to return home ASAP, and I feel like doing anything but my actual job. If you fall behind, don't expect me to wait. Shh! Careful now. Names are very sacred, and just then, you almost let it mindlessly slip out. I didn't ask for an introduction out of common decency, but here you are, practically throwing it at me. In this place, to give your name is to give you will, and trust me, that's the very last thing you want to lose. The terrible things I or anyone else could do with that... <laughs> If you get the gist, then you'll watch your tongue and not offer it so freely next time. If it falls into the wrong hands, <sighs> then you're in for a fate truly worse than death. I've seen plenty of name-bounded demons, and let me tell you, it's quite the show. These sorry states is enough to even make my blood run cold. Unless you want to end up like them, then... Keep what belongs to you to yourself. <laughs> the balladeer is only an alias. <laughs> Did you really think I'd give you my actual name? <sighs> Whatever. Get going. I don't have all day. <sighs> it's the balladeer. Not Mr. Balladeer. Nonsense, for all I care. Mr. is just two random syllabus strung together that you humans like to use. Convenient for being so long. <laughs> I think the words you're looking for are individual and unique. Human names are far too... bland for my taste. And I don't understand how your kind can stand having the same name as someone else. Names exist to differentiate, after all. Who the hell would want to be the 9,000th Noah, or whatever funny names you humans come up with? Names like He Who Conquered the Stars and 
flame-tailed swallow at least have a nicer ring to them. Like, come on. Just compare the two. Do we want... Thousand Winter Nights or... Claire? Thousand Winter Nights... Claire. Can't even count this as competition. What do you mean you'd be mortified with such a long and flowery name? <laughs> I see you have no taste either. I'd be the one dying from embarrassment if my name was something like... Jacob. What even is a Jacob? Whatever. Given that you meant well, I'll excuse it. Just refer to my name properly in the future. Go on, you were saying? Yeah, correct. I called myself a demon, a dream demon to be precise. Although, I don't see what the concern is. Anyone who originates here is considered a demon. Why the alarmed face, huh? <laughs> so that's what a demon means to you. Good to know that the human race is as ignorant as ever. Not all demons use fire, or have wings, or are inclined towards mischief and evil. So stereotypical. My poor feelings. You know, good-hearted demons like me exist too. <laughs> Don't bother apologizing. Save it for the actual kind demons, because I sure the heck ain't one of them. I'll never be one of those goody two-shoes. <laughs> uh, uh, you think I'm kind-hearted because I'm escorting you home? How gullible can you be? Are you sure you're not purposely acting coy with me? I'm only guiding you because I'm obliged to do so. The super rain here, Buar, happened to be especially benevolent towards strangers like you. A pity. Concentrating dreams like you don't show up often, and even the most renowned of demons can only dream of such an opportunity. An extraordinary find falls within my grasp, but I'm not allowed to enjoy the spoils. How convenient. In your case. <laughs> if it were up to me, I would have gone for your neck, picked the bones completely clean by now, and pre pretty satisfied with such an easy meal. A crying shame. I used to be quite a fan of eating dreams myself, but now... Not only can I not eat the passerbys, I'm required to walk my dinner to the exit. How terribly cruel and sadistic of her. <laughs> What's next? Shall I describe how I eat the helpless victims? How they scream in blood-curling fear, but always in vain? Maybe I'll go into depth on how I like to take my time to pull them apart limb by limb. <laughs> what now? Still think I'm a saint? That's what I thought. Keep your distance. If I suddenly change my mind... That'll be your head start. And if I feel generous, I might even give ten seconds. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I made that stuff up. For the most part. Don't be so alarmed. 
I wouldn't disobey Buar for such impulses. As I said, I was joking. You don't have to take it so seriously. <sighs> alright, alright, I get it. I'll refrain from doing it again if it bothers you that much. Happy? Good. You're right. I'm not much of a law-abider. Most demons aren't either, but we all respect power here. I despise her philosophy and method of getting things done. Far too passive for my liking, but what am I supposed to do? Assassinate her? That's a little out of my reach at the moment. Not even I can deny my envy of her magical capabilities. Plus, I'd also have to get away with it somehow. She's a strange one to say the least. Came out of nowhere. At first I thought she was childish, and possibly idealistic and too inexperienced. But her judgments and foresights proved to be freakishly accurate, so who am I to judge? I don't hate on the player, I hate on the game. Let's just say that my deep respect for her remains despite our disagreements, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> You're very funny. Anyone ever told you that? Absolutely not. I don't stand watch every day and protect outsiders out of sheer devotion alone. You couldn't have gotten that more wrong. I prefer having a full stomach over maintaining devotion any day. But I'll play her rules if it means I get to live. Remember my advice on the whole do not give name thing. I learned that the hard way. I was no fool. She only got extremely lucky when she played that dirty trick on me. There's more to her than she puts on. They don't call her wise and cunning for nothing. She pulled a fast one on me and now I'm stuck as a tour guide for... Probably an eternity if I were going to be honest. <sighs> but... That's enough about her. I said enough about her. So, what if I brought her up in the first place? I'm not gonna humor such a lame question. <laughs> I serve to guide, not to entertain. You wouldn't even retain a tenth of what I say by the time you wake up. A waste of my breath if you ask me. Do you ever run out of questions? Huh. Would you look at that? The company I mentioned is here. Hmm. The hounds. Probably a dozen. You were saying? Pay those lowlifes no attention. Too inexperienced to take on a complex form, and too weak to hunt alone. They're pathetic cowards. <laughs> Why do they even have to howl every full moon? So damn noisy. They're far from intelligent, but should know better than to pick a fight with me. Especially after last week's little... Incident. They've been avoiding me like the plague. I don't think you'll even catch a glimpse of their shadows. <laughs> With the way I sent them running, ears down, tails tucked pathetically between their legs. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Seriously, what were they thinking? Did they think an inferior ambush plus some big numbers were enough to overpower me? I fell, but not that much. In fact, they could even think I was tangible. 
What an insult. I'm going to get ridiculed at a damn council meeting for sure. Whatever. To hell with them. Just follow me and you'll be more than fine. I said I'd walk you to him safely, didn't I? So don't worry your pretty little head over it and leave it to the professionals. I'm famous here, of course I'd have a reserved seat. Actually, scratch that. With the way things are going, infamous would be a better word. I didn't say I was a significant figure just to inflate my own ego. I'm going to ignore the fact that you seemed more amazed at the word council rather than my status. You're getting impressed by the wrong thing, by the way. Just saying. The meetings are always tedious and... Uh, oh, we're almost there. The yellow light that is from the beacon that'll, that'll take you back home. I've got no clue why such a structure was made to be. Some say an omnipotent demon forged it as a gateway to other realms for conquests. Never to be heard of again. A couple of renowned scholars link it to asteroids claiming to have traced the origin of demonic energy. Others disagree and say that this structure had nothing to do with demons but was rather made by humans as a method of migration. These are only a few of the countless theories I must say. All very interesting, but a little proof. Hey, watch your footing. Well, duh. It's practically in ruins. Of course there's going to be loose debris. What did you expect? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt for you to be more careful. That is a tea set by the entrance. It's mine. Of course it's mine. I know the place. How else could it have been? Even mediocre demons have territory to themselves. As they're infinite superior, I'd obviously have my own as well. To do whatever I please. Is a tea set that surprising? I need a place to sit when I stand watch. Oh no. Guiding humans isn't my only obligation. At first, Boer only made me guide outsiders, but then she decided, since I cross here frequently anyways, why not abuse free labor and make me watch the damn place too while I'm at it. Since I'm going to be here a lot, I decided might as well set up a little something for myself. There is tea inside. Probably lukewarm now, since you took your sweet, sweet time getting here. That blue one is mine, and the green one is reserved for almighty Buar herself. Both are from a limited collector set and equally priceless. I'm not letting your grubby hands get all over it and ruin the prestige. Sheesh, I... <laughs> Had to guide you and protect you all this way, and now you expect me to serve you tea? You really have no respect for your seniors. <sighs> We're finally here. It's time for you to return to your realm. Trust me, you've long overstayed your welcome. You've got sleep to catch up on, and I've got tea to drink. Better not be cold. What are you waiting for? It's a portal. How do you think it works? Just walk through it, duh. Ah, uh, don't thank me. I'm only fulfilling my obligations to Buar and seeing little meaning in it. If there's anyone you should thank, it should be her. She was the one who promised you a safe trip home. I'm only enduring it. You can just go. Cutting pleasantries would save both of us our time. But the time you wake up, you'll forget everything and we'll never meet again. 
Nothing you'd say would matter, so might as well save the energy, understand? Good. Then I shall be seeing you again, never. Have a nice trip. A special thanks goes out to Pandora Hearts and Seth, as well as all the other Patreons who have decided to support me even further on my journey. Thank you, and rest well.